Good morning, everybody. I feel like I know I said that weird. I um, I'm just like bored of how I start my vlogs off. Good morning, everyone. Like, can we not think of something different? Um, gosh, it is 65 degrees in our house right now, which I am obsessed with. I love that. Um, but that's good because it's gonna get to 74 today. Um. Okay, anyways, so I just went to Quick Trip. I It's 8.52. I dropped the kids off at school and then did a delivery that took like an hour. Oh, and I went to the laundromat to put... Um, I went to the bins and St. Vinny's yesterday, so I'm going to do St. Vinny's haul, which I'm pumped about. I got a couple things that I think are going to do really well. But I got some an Alani new because, okay, it is 8.53. I'm really hungry. My hunger is starting to subside, but I'm... I'm really, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm not like, is, I want to get back into keto, like maybe not as hardcore as I was before, but I really want to get back into intermittent fasting. And yesterday I did not eat until, cause I was thrifting all day and I didn't eat till like two. So, okay. And then quick trip had some sales on stuff. So I got a double chocolate chip muffin and a triple berry muffin. I thought it was back in the lane. Good for those figure out which ones they like um and then i only got three the limit was five so i should have just did five i just didn't know how good of a deal it necessarily was but they're boneless pork um loin chops so pork chops um and they're 99 cents a piece so i got three these were a dollar 19 the muffins they're on sale for like from 1.99 but yeah i got three of them but i'm like I didn't, I don't know, I was thinking like when you buy a pack at Walmart, are, do, are they actually that cheap really? I don't know. Um, so maybe I should have got some more. Yeah, I should have just got my five. Why wouldn't I have done that? But whatever. But I thought these would be good um, for like individual lunches for myself. That's why I thought this would be cool. Um, so I'm going to put them in the freezer. I do have a piece of chicken breast in the fridge. Right now, so I'm not going to eat one of these today. Although I could eat... I don't And Willie's going to make fish when he gets home for lunch. So I don't even need the chicken yet. But it's been dying since yesterday. I was going to eat it yesterday. So I'm going to stick these in the freezer. I, um... <clears throat> oh, I still have this chicken sausage. Also. So I got... You know, I really want to go back to how I used to eat when I first started keto. Which was like just having meat in the freezer and making some meat for lunch. Um, cause I used to always, that's how I did my keto and like, I feel like that is like the easiest to be honest. So yeah. Um, I'm not as hungry anymore. I was super hungry on my way home from doing my delivery. <laughs> I want to eat but I mean, I'm like I'm not I'm not I'm gonna stay true to my uh intermittent fasting oh I forgot to get um but here's okay here's my chicken I got the thinly sliced I okay so I bought the pack of chicken thinking it would be cheaper because Walmart also sells the individually packed chicken breasts where like it's in its own pack which I'm gonna buy those next time and I thought maybe Buying an actual pack would be cheaper, but I've come to realize it's not. It, it was actually cheaper to get the individually packed ones. So after I'm gonna go, to, I'm, I have to go to Walmart today. I'm gonna get some snacks for Blaine's class because the teacher had sent an email. She was like seeing if people wanted to donate some snacks. So I'm gonna get some snacks and pay my contributions to his class. Is that the right way to say it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm going to, ha I have to ship out a couple things. Well, one thing, the other things I got last night. <sighs> Acers. Hi. You guys haven't seen Ace in a while. He's never in my vlogs. Always sniffing the eels. Say hi. Poor guy. He's, so he, it's duck hunting season. Or it's hunting season. I don't know, whatever. Duck. Is it duck yet? Oh, opening. Saturday is opening for duck. It's been like goose and teal. Um, so Ace is going to have a big hunting day. Ace loves hunting, by the way. Like, obsessed. So, it's good for him. 
I always get happy for him. My little puppers. My little puppers. My little hunting dog. He does really well, too. He's a good hunter. Aren't ya? Everyone's always, like, impressed with how he hunts. Do I know anything about it? No. Willie wants to take me in Blaine hunt. Because Jack won't be here this weekend, but... Willie wants to take me in Blaine hunting, and I'm like... I don't really know that I want to go hunting, but maybe, maybe we'll try it. I don't know. I kind of want to actually. He did buy me a shotgun like for, I don't know if it was a birthday or Christmas present a few years back and I've only used it once because he, I was going to get into duck hunting because I do deer hunt and I was going to get into duck hunting and it just never happened. I have a friend that does it with her fiance and she loves duck hunting way more than deer hunting. Anyways, I'm just rambling. So I'm going to go put this stuff away. And then I need to, yeah, do my shipping quickly. Okay, I am really upset right now. I just finished editing a video that has to go up today. And I freaking deleted it. I literally deleted it. And I just, I spend so much time editing it. Oh my gosh. I am, I need to figure out how to get my video back. I don't know though. I don't know because I'm trying. I don't, I'm really upset. I'm really upset right now. I'm going to try to figure this out so I don't have to go back and re-edit it. Because I already don't, editing videos is not my favorite thing to do. And I, plus it was supposed to go live today. Oh my gosh, I am not. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm actually, it's not funny. I'm not laughing. Has anyone had this happen to them? Let me know. So I'm re-editing my video because I called die a movie and there, I don't have like a backup on my laptop. So that is... I've never done this before. This is horrible, actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that, and then do the, and then ship the one item I have to ship. It's gonna set me back for today, and I'm not very happy about it, but it's okay. Okay, so I just got done re-editing that video. Um, it went really fast, actually, um, probably because I just got done editing it, so I could skip through parts of it. I'm so glad it's done. Now I got to... I don't know when this one's going to go live. Okay, now let's not delete it this time. Share. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're safe. Because what I... I meant to delete a video that I already... It already went live. Okay. Oh, that's done. And I just got a delivery that came up. But I'm not going to do it because it's not interesting or not what I want to do. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that happened. I'm, like, going to be a lot more cautious and careful next time. Okay. So now I need to get some toddlers jeans. I also have to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I don't really know. Um, so I, want, I need to get toddler jeans. I'll have to see what kind of meat I have in the freezer. Okay, so I have all my Todd, um, all Blaine's old clothes in these bins. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna dig through and get, this is in the way, I got, there's just clothes hanging. <laughs> okay, it's toddler jeans, there's seven pairs. I think this is the one. It's got to be. Yeah, here's. No. These are not. These are short. Um, is it these? Let me see. I wonder if it's this bin. Actually. Yeah, let me see. It's. Size 3T. And there's, yep, these are it. Okay. 
I'm actually gonna mix these in here so that I have another bin. So I'll do that and then I have to go upstairs and, oh, my camera battery's gonna die. I'll go upstairs and I have to get my video, like my thumbnail made and just other stuff. But did I say I wanna do butter chicken for lunch today? So I'm gonna bring this up too. And I have cauliflower rice that I think I'm gonna use. Yeah, sounds good. I need to like pull something out of the freezer though. I don't know what to make for dinner. I don't know, I'm gonna look into that too. But let's just go get this shipped really quick and get done what we really need to do. Okay, so I just got back from Walmart. Um, I did, it was more of like a snack. This is more of a snack haul. Um, I needed more snacks and then I needed snacks for Blaine's class, like I said. So, and there's a couple things for a couple dinners I want to make. So it's majority of it is snacks. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll just start here. So I got some more vinyl gloves. These, this box is $10. I did not know they costed that much. I thought they were cheaper than that. Um, yeah, but it's, I guess it's a hundred pair. And so I use these for the bins. That's why, and I'm running a low, so that's why I got those. Um, then I got a head of cabbage. I want to make some cabbage type of meal tomorrow. I don't know. I'll vlog it. So I got cabbage and then heavy whipping cream for that. I got myself an Olipop. I really like the strawberry vanilla. It's not necessarily low carb. No, it's 16 grams of carb, but there is nine fibers, so... I don't know. Um, and then I needed another black satin pillowcase. So I got one before and I didn't realize it was only one pillowcase. So I needed another one, um, which is kind of stupid. It's like, okay, usually they're sold in two, but whatever. Um, I guess that's nice if you only need one. Then I got this beef smoked sausage. That's going to go with the cabbage meal. I forgot what it's, it's like a TikTok viral thing that I found on Pinterest. Um, Cajun something. I don't know. So got that. I got peppers. I want to make some stuffed peppers. Um, cream cheese for the stuffed peppers because it's going to be like a smoked sauce or sausage or beef or whatever. Stuffed peppers. Then this kind of looked good. It's a keto walnut fudge brownie mix. Um, I just thought that sounded good. Some chicken salad. I really like the chicken salad there. I got some. We have not had this in years and I knew I know Blaine will love this. It's cheese that cheese whiz stuff. So I thought that would be fun to get for him. Got some rup beer for the boys for a little treat. Uh, I got a couple seasonings. So I got, because I needed, I used a burger. I use a burger one for burgers. And that's really good. And I was going to get it, but I saw this Kinder's Buttery Burger Blend. So I wanted to try this one because um, I love a Kinder's, the Kinder's seasonings. And then this is roast chicken, which I've never had that one either. So I wanted to try it. Um, and then I just got this at the Checo. I think I was going to eat it on the way home. I didn't, so we'll just have to figure that out. Um, got some vegetable oil. So Willie need, uses this for like frying fish and stuff. And he was using my olive oil, which is freaking expensive. So I made sure to buy some more because this, this jug is $10. Um, my olive oil for a big jug is $20 and it's way smaller than this. So I'm like, you cannot be using my olive oil for frying because it's just expensive um this is like another treat thing with just some Reese's and some Kit Kat for the kids and whoever some honey buns I always get the great value cheaper um everyone loves honey buns here apparently I'm not like a huge fan but everyone else is and then I've got some fruit and grain bars there's blueberry cherry and apple and cinnamon i might actually keep a couple of these because we have some in the basement and take those to the school mini vanilla wafers i wasn't sure if i was going to do that for school or keep it home because some of the stuff i'm going to i'm only going to take like a few things to school so i'm trying to figure out which what i want to take um then i i will probably take the teddy grams to the school because i don't know if the jack and blaine eat teddy grams all that often these Ritz Bites, I'll keep these home because these are like their favorites. I got a value pack of, um, oops, it's not focusing. 
of granola bars and I'm gonna keep this home because she did ask not to get peanut butter and it's got peanut butter in it um so yeah and then I got some of these better goods crackers and I thought they were lower carb than they actually are they're 15 grams and the yellow box that I got before was um 15 grams but it was also like a couple grams of fiber where this one's 15 grams and there's no fiber but um I don't know. I just, I want to, I don't know. It's okay. I'm, I'm like not super strict right now. Um, then I got some of these mini club crack. I love club, club crackers with them. I didn't get them for myself. I got them for, to use with the cheese stuff. And then some Austin crackers. Um, so I usually get the cheddar cheese ones and over the peanut butter. Cause it seems like everyone likes the cheese. Like even like with these Ritz bites, I noticed they like the cheese better. I don't know necessarily about Blaine though. I know Jack likes cheese better. Um, but yeah, I just, we'll see. And then Goldfish, that's going to be for his class as well. And that's, oh, and some cheese puffs. And that's everything with my gloves over there. Um, so I'm going to put all this away and then figure out what I'm going to take to his class. I am, so it's 11.30. I am going to break my fast really quick to try these crackers and have it with this chicken salad and then I'll make my lunch with you guys I'm excited for it oh they're like long sticks How cool. so these are sea salt and olive oil flatbread crackers And that's made out of sourdough. It's good. Okay. This did not come off the way I meant for it to come off. Let's dip this in there. Mm-mm. So Walmart has different types of chicken salad. I got the rotisserie style last time and this one is southern style and actually I think I like the southern style better. There's also with cranberry and there's one with grapes which those would probably be really good too. But I just assume they're higher carb because of the fruit. Mmm. And I got four jugs of water. So, you guys, this came out too. For everything, $127. Mm -mm. No, because of tax. So, $128.23. It's wild. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook up this chicken really quick. I'm actually really not very hungry, if I'm being honest. Um, oh, I just realized I also have these. I made, some, I didn't vlog, I made smash burger tacos yesterday and these are still raw, I'd have to cook them up, but I forgot these were in there. Um, I wonder if I should freeze them though. Part of me thinks I should just freeze them. Should I do that? Can, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to freeze them. Let's do that. Um, okay. So let's just cook up our chicken breast. Because I have to use it. Yeah, but like I said, I'm not. I'm actually really not hungry. But I did open the jar and try a little bit. And I do like it. I like that butter. It's different. But I like it. <laughs> I like different though, you know. I'm very, well, I don't know what the right word is, but when you like, I'm very adventurous, I guess, with my food. Oh, literally, a fruit fly just flew onto that. Okay, and then, should we season that? Um, actually, let's use my new seasoning. My roasted chicken with garlic and herbs. I haven't even smoked these either. I should do that. 
powder actually. Yeah, it's more like powder than it is anything. Okay. Interesting. Let's smell our buttery burger blend. I think that's going to be good. Ooh, that smells really good. It, you know what? It smells just like the buttery steakhouse. It doesn't even... Let me... Oh, I guess tastes a little bit more. Okay. I, I'm not seasonings type of person. I love seasonings. So I'm going to cook this chicken up, then I'll put... So, okay, if I was going to do this as a meal, I, I kind of want to cook it up right now, too, so when Willie gets home, he can try it, see if he likes it. Because then I can make it for dinner or something. Um, if, but it's it's like very out there, so I don't know if they're going to like it. Um, what am I saying? So you, I would do the rice cauliflower as like the rice. And then I'd probably throw in like some onions or something, fried onions, and the chunks of chicken with this. Um, that's what I would probably do. But I'm just going to like do this on the chicken right now. I like that. Just make it simple. Plus, I gotta get some listings on. I have not actually done any like. Um, oh, I left my clothes in the car. I got my clothes from the, my store or not my store. The the laundry mat. I don't know. I've gotta get some like real work done. I think I took a picture, or I gotta take a picture of this receipt. I still use Fetch. If you guys don't know. I take a picture of my, I've used Fetch and I downloaded another, let me see if I've done this. I downloaded another one. It is, um, once this is done, I'll go look. It's like a pig one or something. Oh, I guess I didn't take a picture. Good thing I did. This, I got 600 points with this. Nice. Okay, the other one is... It's called Receipt Hog. Oh, that smells like it's burning. So, it looks like I took a picture. I did put it on the Receipt Hog one, but I did not do it on the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the chicken because I'm pretty sure it's done. Plus it's gonna, it can cook a little more with the, I'm trying to get chunks, not shred it. I pretty much burned the seasonings on it. Cause it's like a powder, it's not like a salt, so. It's like shredding. I don't want it to shred. I want it chunks. No, oh, whatever. Okay. And then I'm going to take the butter, what's it called? Butter chicken curry. Um, I'm going to, should I use this pan? I don't know. It's fine. We're just gonna do this. And I've never made this before. So I've had it in a TV dinner though. And I really liked it. Oh I didn't I didn't mean to get rid of that fork. So let's I'm gonna turn the heat up. So I'm just to heat up. I think that's enough sauce. We'll just do a plate. So again, I would use cauliflower rice, but I don't want to make up a whole bag just for 
like a little bit. So I'm not going to. But let's give this a try. It's hot, so let's let it cool. I'm really excited. <laughs> I am excited. I love food. It would be so good actually with rice. Mm. But it's good, it's got like that sweetness to it. Those okay, so I'm gonna do my St. Vinny's haul really quick that I had. I'm drinking my Olipop I got today. I've been snacking, by the way. And um, I've had some candy, <laughs> chips, or not chips, crackers, Cheetos. Not good. Not good. Um, but let's just do this haul quick. So I've got two big bags. So one of these bags, so this. I got some little kid, I've heard that these are good, a good brand for kid shoes. They're native. I don't know, I didn't look up comps, but I do remember hearing about this brand. So, and they're in really good shape. And I only paid $2 for them. Let me get the receipt actually. Cause um, green tag was not on sale. So I paid $2 for those. Um, I sh should have checked comps before I did this section. But, anyways, um, then these are some Tevas, which are another good shoe brand. They're sandals, and I paid five dollars for these, which, um, wait, oh no, that's fine. Which, I don't know, was that a deal or not? Again, I didn't look up comps. Pumps. I mean, I, I did briefly when I was there. When I go to like St. Vinny's, places like that, and I pay up a little more for stuff, I will check pumps then. Like at the bins, I really don't. I do sometimes, but not that often. Then this is a Garnet Hill sweater. Um, and I'm like, gosh, Garnet Hill, that sounds familiar. And I feel like I've heard about it, so I looked it up. And comps look really good for Garnet Hill. I haven't found, I didn't find this exact sweater. <laughs> But I think maybe I could get 25, 30 bucks. Um, so it was $7, but it was a red tag. And I think red tag was on sale. Let me find it. So I paid, it was on sale, the red tag. So I paid $4.90 for this. And then this is humongous. But this was, um, this was good. So this is... So let's start out with this. I paid five, so it was five dollars, but it was red tag. So I paid two dollars and fifty cents. But the brand is Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic, and it's a big, cozy, comfy robe. And you guys, comps for this look really good. Um, it is so ginormous. Let me actually do a quick comp right now. Bare, what I say, Barefoot Dreams. <laughs> This thing is huge. It is just ginormous. Um, it's Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic. So, like, I mean, there's some on here. I'm not even kidding for like a hundred dollars. And I, well, there's some for like fifty. But let's see, sold. Like, here's one that's, oh, but this was new with tags. I didn't see that. It was sold for $63. Well, this person sold one for $79. Um, it wasn't brand new. So, yeah, one, here's one for $60, $38, Oh, that was new with tags. $30. So, I mean, I'll still do pretty good with this one. So, I'm excited. 
Okay, so the Teva sandals, it looks like maybe I'll get like, I could maybe get close to 40. 25 to 40. I might do good with those. So, the native. Okay, like 20, I could possibly get $25, which is really good for a kid's shoe. Are these all kids? Mm, some of these are actually adults, so. Native kids. Same ones that I have. And they sold for 20 Which is really good for a kid's shoe. I was thinking about letting Blaine wear them. Before I sell them. But he's going to ruin them. And we're going into fall. So he doesn't really need a shoe like that. Okay, let's move on. Next up. Oh, I just, I got these for Jack. Um, they are literally the same exact sweatpants that Blaine has. Blaine has the same exact pair, so I thought that would be cute for them to have matching sweatpants. Um, this is an L.L. Bean robe, so it was $5, a blue tag, so I paid $2.50, and it's a full zip robe. And I think comms also looked pretty freaking good for this as well. So, yeah, I, I've come to realize that I, I love looking in the, the pajamas and, like, the sleepwear aisles. Because, like, that is where I really do well. Um, these I got for myself. They're just Adidas, I think. Yeah, they're Adidas leggings, but I just thought they were super cute. I love how... Got like the color block on the side. So those are for me. And then this robe, I think, okay, so I don't remember what the comps were, but I know when I looked it up. So it's Sarah Bentley Intimates. Comps looked really good for this robe. I was really finding the robes that day. Let me look it up really quick right now. I did just accept an offer, so I have to hurry up. But Blaine is napping. So vintage Sarah Bentley, like there, here's one listed for. $48, but if I go to sold, um, oh, there's one for 15 uh, Sarah Bentley, hmm, I thought, I don't know, I think it'll be fine, I, I thought it was, I have to look further into that, um, and then, oh, I didn't even look at comps for this, I just got them, because they are Eileen Fisher jeans. Which, um, I didn't, I was like, I'm surprised these are still there because they're a green tag. So that means, I think the new tag was actually purple. Because when I saw the lady putting clothes away, they were purple. Um, but I, they were $4. So, I paid, let's see, um, oh, I paid $4. So they were new, it was, I guess it wasn't. A sale tag but four dollars for some Eileen Fisher jeans I'm curious to see how it does let me actually look that up really good I might as well just do all my comps while I'm doing this haul okay so maybe I don't know comps are kind of all over 20 30 so some for 40 here's some for eight <laughs> um, 15 27 here's some for 25 so I don't know we'll see um, maybe they weren't as good of a find as I thought but I just thought Eileen Fisher what the heck that's a good brand um oh my back hurts for somebody and then these are Cobby and comps were I think I could get like 20 25 at least um, they, I pay, so they were $4 or a yellow tag, which I believe the yellow tag was 75% off. Um, if I could find it. So I paid a dollar 25 for these. No, that, no, that I paid a dollar 25 for my leggings. So for, I paid a dollar for these. So. 
then these, so this is Old Navy. It was $4 yellow take. So I also paid a dollar for this. I just got this because it's like that Fair Isle print and it's Old Navy. I know is like a good selling brand for like Kaylee Elaine if you watch her on YouTube. So yeah, I just thought I'll get that a shot. It was only a dollar. And then these are, why did I? Oh, I got these for Jack, that's why. So they're just some Wrangler jeans. Just thought he probably could use another pair of jeans. And they should fit him. They were $3, so I paid, not that you guys probably care actually. I'm kind of curious though. Oh, I paid 75 cents for these, nice. So then what did I pay for? So green tag, $3. And I paid $3 for these sweatpants, which I would have never probably paid that much for them, but I just thought it was cool because they, they are the exact same pair of bling, as blings. And then I got bling a pair of jeans. They're red tag. So I paid $2.10 for these. But they're just some cute little jeans. Cat and Jack, size 4. So that's everything in the haul. Um... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it all goes. I like going to St. Vinny's, I will say. Their prices are pretty decent. Like, I don't go to Goodwill. I do know they have really high prices. I haven't really been to a Goodwill in a very long time. But I probably won't go for a long time. Just because I know the prices are really bad. But... And I, really just, I just like to stay at the Goodwill outlet for the most part. Because it's just, like, you get more bang for your buck. And that's, like, kind of... You know what I want to keep it at, but we're gonna have for supper. We're gonna have um, Willie is put some duck breast. He's got or no, it's goose breast. He's gonna put that on the smoker tonight and do that. Gosh, I'm so tired right now. Blaine's napping in there, and I'm like, I should go take a nap. With him. <laughs> steak. 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 Steak.